Okay, so today I'm going to show you an introduction to LaTeX, how to set up a document and do some sample code to show you that I know how to use it here. So to start off, we have this open document, but we have to define our document class. And there's some different ones such as resume, memoir, and article. We're just going to stick with article. It's the most simple and can still do everything we need. I'm going to add an optional argument here, which is to make the font 12 point, and that's added in brackets here. And now that we have this, we want to actually be able to type the code we want. So we're going to begin the document. And more importantly, we need to end the document as well. And this is a commonly forgotten thing. If the document is not ended, it will not compile. So in between the two document lines right here, we can do all the code we want, which will get compiled when we finish the code. But in order to do a lot of this stuff, we need to add packages, which will be in a preamble between the document class and the begin document. This will let us do most of the math that we want. But to avoid typing a whole LaTeX preamble. I already have one set up, and I'm going to go to that now. So we're going to discard this, and I'll pull up the LaTeX file we have here. So here I have some important packages like MathTools, which contains AMS math and some other important stuff, AMS symbol, and so on. I've also redefined some commands, such as like the real number sign and the integer sign, and then I also like defined an environment for myself. But excluding all that, let's get to some sample code. So we have the title here, and then afterwards, we're going to type something out of McIntyre. And this is on page 39 of the book, and it's example 2.1. So to get the example to show up nice and big, the title-wise, we're going to do a sash section, and then we're going to add a little star to make the numbering like hidden. So we're going to type example 2.1. And now after this, we're going to type from the line. So out of the book, we're going to start with the text which we just type normally. Assume that we know, for example, from problem 2.1, that the matrix representation for the operator, and now we have some math that we want to type, something that we want in math mode. So to do this, in line, that is, we add dollar signs on both the beginning and the end. We, we close off the stuff we want in inline math mode with dollar signs. So we have dollar sign S, Y, but as a subscript, so we do the underscore here and then we close it off. And now we're going to want some more math mode, but this is on its own line and centered. So we have another command for this specific, and that's going to be a forward slash with an open bracket. So we have S, Y again, and now we have a dot equals. So that's going to have its own command here. And we're going to have a fraction, so we do slash frac, and then the top part we have slash h bar, which is in command as well, and then over two. And then now we have a matrix coming up, and it's zero, negative i, i, zero. And to put this in, we're going to do an array environment. So we have a slash begin array for this, and then we're going to have a two by two, so we need two commands here, and these are to show that we want the entry centered in both of the rows. Okay. So now, to make the actual entries, I'm going to tab over here. It's going to be a 0, and then we're going to use an ampersand to go to the next entry. Negative i, two forward slashes to go to the next line. An i again, another ampersand, and then a 0. And then we're going to have to end the array. We have to make sure we do this so it knows that we're done with the matrix. And now we just have some entries floating around, but we want to contain them in the like parentheses and brackets that we're used to seeing around matrices. So we're going to add a left parenthesis here, and then we're going to have a right parenthesis here. And these right here, the slash left and slash right, make them contain the whole and everything inside and make them large enough to contain everything. So now we'll have that nice matrix look that we want. But now we're going to close this math environment off as well. Okay, and now we'll get, it'll put us back on the next line, and it won't be centered. So to continue, we're going to do a no indent to avoid the auto indentation. We're going to have find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of the operator SY, once again in inline math mode with dollar signs. And then the general eigenvalue equation is, once again, new math mode line that's centered, so slash bracket SY, and then for the cat we have the WIC lambda, which is its own code, and then a wrangle, and then another equals, lambda, another cat, 
the lambda here in our angle. And then we're going to close this off. And now that we've typed everything that we would like to for now, we're going to want to compile. We can either hit this green button here or Control T, which I'm going to choose to do. So okay, so it's compiled and we have exactly what we wanted on the page. So thank you and here you go.